Hi, it's Adrian. I've been playing with um, more makeup by a ton this weekend, so I I did a go 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 on the go 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 on the makeup. Use the Pretty Fresh, and this one's in Fair Thirty, and the Pretty Fresh concealer as well. And then what I went ahead and used on the lips is actually this one from Koki, and this one is Summer Love. Mm, really pretty color. You can get these at the Kroger grocery stores or you can also get them on the Koki website and they usually do a lot of bundles so you can get some really good deals. Um, as far as what I went ahead and put on my cheeks, I did some of the Sounds Grape, which is this one right here. And then I did go ahead and put a couple of different highlighters on just because I love highlighters. So uh, the first one I did was the Say Highlighter. And this is the two pack that you can get in the holiday pack. And so I did, you know, right around here and then nose and um, up onto the forehead with that. As far as this ColourPop, this is another highlighter. To get into these boxes, you just have to take them around the back and put your thumb in. And then when you get to a corner, you can pop it open. At least that's how it should work. There we go. So uh, this is the Addicted to You highlighter from ColourPop, which I also used on this look. And so the next part that I did was the uh, Heat Wave. This is the Sunrise Bronzer, and I went ahead and used this as well. And uh, let's see, the Essence uh, Make Me Brow, excuse me, in Light Ash Brown was the other one I used. And as far as going ahead and doing the eyeshadow palette, yeah. I usually don't wet my brush. You know, you put your product on and then you wet the brush and um, apply the product. And I knew that I needed to try that with the Limelight palette, but I hadn't gotten around to it. So this time I got around to it. And um, these are two really pretty green golds right here. Um, and I put this one on the inner corner and then this one on the outer corner. Um, I put a little bit of this in the crease and then this right under the brow bone here. Um, I also used a little bit of this uh, for the eyeliner and I added in some of this as well as far as the eyeliner. So I think that that turned out really pretty. Um, it's a really good palette. I would definitely pick it up. Definitely go ahead and wet your brush. Uh, these shadows, they turn into such a smooth, really pretty metal. In fact, I'll show you here. So that's how they look when they, um, yeah, when you wet the brush beforehand, they turn um, just all melty, molten -y and pretty. And uh, so what I used was the e.l.f spray and like I said I just sprayed my brush after I got a whole bunch of product on the brush. Uh, the way I usually do it is I just glisten up and, and I don't ever wet my brush and then once I saw these shadows I said well yeah I should do that and then I had to get back around to using them again. So uh, this is glisten up. So with it whoop, then we got there. Um, and I did use, let's see, what else was it? Oh, the, um, the Hourglass powder as a finishing powder. I used uh, the metal one. And this is the Ambient Light palette. So, um, and this one I've also had for over a year too. So if you're wondering if the product lasts or if you go through it right away, I would say the product lasts. Um, like I said, I've had this at least a year at this point. So, 